Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Spooky Time, starring your buddy, the Graveyard Keeper. That dude. That dude. The guy over there. I don't know. I don't even know what this dude's name is. I wish he, like, I wish this dude, like, had a name so I could, like, call him by his proper name. What did your parents name you, Graveyard Keeper? Graveyard. And, and your last name? Keeper. What were your parents' names? Mr. and Mrs. Keeper. Oh, well, that's cool then, I guess. We last dropped off, attempting to figure out how to please our buddy, the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor wants a dark heart. Something evil lurks within the souls of all of us humans, and it seems that we might be able to rip that out of us with the power of injection. I think, and I could totally be wrong about this, I really have no idea, but my current working solution is that I can inject these dark purple liquids specifically dark injection into a body to modify to potentially get dark hearts because i need dark hearts i spoiled that for myself a while ago but i didn't actually know how to actually come across them and make them but so i'm gonna attempt to figure that out and hopefully i can create that dark injection with whatever i was doing two weeks ago which i hope i set myself up for properly which i'm sure i did i'm a very smart person i do good things for myself I do good things for my future self. Sometimes I leave bills in my pants, and then I put my hands in my pocket. I'm like, wow, $5. Past me, really treat himself well. Good guy. What a good guy. And I think I can make these injections over at one of these tables. Tables, 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 tables. Dark injection. To create dark injection, I need a couple of... I need a couple of these things. Look at that. Okay, and I need more water. I need more water. Let me come back with some more water. Actually, I don't need much more than... How much does this make? Five? Oh, that's fine. Let's Let's make it. Dark injection. Wow, that was super easy. Can I research that? Can I put that in a study table and study the effects of the dark injection? No, I cannot. Oh, but I can do wheat seeds. I haven't done that before. Cool. What about... What about, uh... Conical... I haven't done conical flasks? What? I have those so much. I have those all the time. They cannot be decomposed. But my, 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 my! Look at all those red points. that I feel like I kind of want to call crimson points. Because crimson's a cooler color than red. I'm enjoying a very... Very interestingly wonderful cocktail called Floridita number 846. I have no idea the significance of the 846. It's a pretty big number. I don't know its significance. And I'm sure one day, one day, maybe it will become a little less clear to me about what it is. I need water. I'm gonna find my water. I think I have water over here in the kitchen area. Technically, I don't really need it. I don't really need water. Actually, what I do, to, you know what I need need? I need more bodies. Hey, look, water. I like some of that. Can I take some of that? Thank you. Take some of that. I need bodies. And to get bodies, I need carrots. Do I have carrots? Oh, I have carrots in my inventory. Hot. Awesome. Love to see that. More conical flax? Also hot. I also love to see that. Honestly, I'd love to see anything other than that, too. Like, you know, I'm, I'm indifferent. Oh, I already have those, but I have... I'm full up on bodies. Whoa! Hi! Hi, everybody! Um... Hmm. Maybe you're good. Can I- can I- can I do this to you? How do I- How do I... Insert injection? How do I do that? Do I need, like, another table for- Oh, what is that thing over there? Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Take this body. Maybe if I put it over here? There looks like there's something already here. Embalmment. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, do I- do I just let it sit there? Oh, it processes over time! I need more embalming tables. Let me get some more embalming tables. I can make embalming table too? Electric boogaloo. I guess that probably just functions faster. I don't know. I'm gonna take these bodies... Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chop down some trees. I know, I know. Wonderful thing to do for the environment. And then I'm gonna... I don't know, burn some bodies. I'm gonna set them on fire. I'm gonna do that. It'll be great. Great and wonderful. Chop it down. Chop down those trees. Get some bullets. Bullets. Billets, billets, billets. I wish there was an easier way to move these things around. Technically, there is, like, there is a method, but it's not very, it's not very convenient. I'm not super good at that. Uh, why do they gotta be so difficult to move around like that? Come on. It's fine. Slowly but surely. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm not running in a race or anything, but if I were, I'd be winning. Because I'm going slowly. I want wood belays. Give me some belays. Belays? 
Bellize place. Give me some bellies and I'll go very far. Burn some bodies. Set people on fire. Just like that. That's how bodies set on fire. All it starts with is with a simple spark of inspiration. One little spark of inspiration can spark a chain reaction of conflagration. One little spark will make your dreams come true. And all your friends will be burning alive. And that's how you set the world on fire. Some would say I don't want to set the world on fire, but I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I definitely, definitely want to set the world on fire. Not like literally, because, you know, I'd probably get caught up in the flames, and I'm just not, I'm not at a point where I feel ready to die yet. Although if I did had to go, I'd probably do it in a bit of flames. I, I'd, do, I'd go out with a bang. If I had to go in one way or another, I'd rather it be, maybe not with a bang, not like a big boom bang, might hurt somebody, but like with a spectacle, you know? You know? But like a dramatic spectacle. If I had to die in any particular way, I think I might want an audience. Or maybe not. Actually, I would ask the people who I surround myself dear with, I would want to know, hey, if I were to die, close family friend, or just close close friend in general, what would what would you rather do? Because like, cause by that point, if I'm dead, it's not on me. It's it's on whoever comes after me. So maybe like maybe I should only have just so much choice in the matter. Cause uh, you know, if my if my way of going is I want everybody to be, you know, in full-on clown makeup and party hats on but while uh, blowing party horns in beat with some depressing song or maybe some really, really upbeat song. And maybe everyone would suffer for it. And I don't want people suffering on my behalf when I'm gone. Let people suffer not on my behalf. Just let karma do the deal. Just let karma take over. If you got something bad coming, I'm sure karma will take care of you. Maybe. Karma exists. Does karma exist? I don't know. I'm karmically intent. Actually, you're not super bad yet. Oh, you're finished. Oh, you're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Ah. Uh, actually, well, if I go burn these bodies first, then I'll have more time. I'll have some time in between while new bodies will come. Oh, I need to build these things. Okay, now that all that banging is over, now we can set things on fire. There you go, Jimmy Bob. Enjoy that. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't feel at all because you're dead. Your nerves don't have any connection to your brain anymore. Hmm. Seems appropriate. Seems very appropriate. Oh, well. You know, actually, from, from all this burning that I've done, I, I did a lot of burning in the past. There's a lot of, like, ash and whatnot left over. I don't know. Embalmment. Did I... Wait, did I not already? This looking can be applied to a body in the bottom to modify its characteristics. Can I? Can I do it again? Actually, come to think of it, how many pieces do you have left on you? Do you have a heart? You don't have a heart anymore. Ah, oh, what was the point of that? Oh, no way. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're a very evil boy. You're a very evil boy. Or maybe you're actually. I don't even know what you've got under there. I don't even think I paid much attention to be honest. Oh, I forgot to get burial certificates. I forgot to get paid for this. Yes! I'm paid for destroying the bodies. It's humane. Actually, I think the reason why I'm getting paid for this is that I'm disposing of them properly. Honestly, you don't want to drop your bodies in the river. You don't get paid for that. You want to do the things that you do to get paid. Because everybody knows if you get paid for it, it must be legal. That's basically the rule. I didn't make it up. Somebody else did. If you get paid for it, it's totally legal. And you should be doing it. Yep. 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 Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. No, I will not be taking any further comments on that. For one reason or another. Anyway, I need to go get more trees. Gotta get more trees, gotta get more billets, get more billets, burn more bodies, one day at a time. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Who is Shirley, anyway? Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Shirley was my mother's name. Ding! Maybe, like... Maybe there's an off chance out there, right? Right, 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 right. Think about this for a second. Hold on. He is serious. Don't call him Shirley. Maybe. Maybe Shirley used to go by Sirius. And now doesn't want any mention of that previous name. So we have to respect 
serious. They do not want to be called Shirley. They don't want to be called Shirley. That's fine. That's your preference there, Sh uh, Sh um, uh, I'm serious. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. All right, let's put you on there. There we go. Honestly, whatever name you want to be called, that's fine. That's fine. Honestly, I'm so, like, I feel like I'm so used to that. Because I feel like when you're when you're in a world of usernames and not first and last names or birth certificates, you're like, um, hey, your username might be Suxalata Suxalata Hata, but like if you want me to call you Sue, that's that's fine. Or uh, or like uh, I don't I don't know Joe, it's fine too. Suxalata Hata, if you're out there and you want to be called Joe, I am totally cool with that. You're welcome here. You're welcome here. Although to be fair, it might be a little difficult for me to remember. There are a lot of there are a lot of folks, and it might get difficult. And if that's the case, you know, honestly, that's all on me. That's all on me. I should be remembering. Should be better about that. But we're all trying to improve around here. We're all trying to get better. Oh, I'm gonna sleep in my bed and then take another sip of my beautiful cocktail. Oh, it's Sunday. It's time to pray. Time to pray to the Lord. I pray. For longevity i pray for the benefits to society i pray for quality ingredients locally sourced never fake never artificial i pray for a chorizo full packed burrito with all the ingredients including the guacamole that i know cost extra and even if it's a little too full and you have to re Repack that bad boy. I don't care. You're free to do that. Add another tortilla on top of it. I pray for Chipotle. Honestly, one of my coworkers today had food from this place called Pita Chip. It's not Chipotle. It's not anywhere close to Chipotle. But like, God. I wanted myself some Chipotle today. We're trying to be frugal. Trying to save money. Whenever we can. It's a good, it's a good practice to be in. And, uh, well... I packed lunch instead. I was a little. I packed a packed lunch, and I also have my snacks with me. I've got a couple of nice snacks recently uh, for Valentine's Day. I didn't realize that Anna was gonna get me a Valentine. We took each other out for experiences and not gifts, and I didn't think I was gonna get a Valentine. But I got a Valentine anyway. And to be fair, I still haven't stopped at the store to go get chocolate for her. I was meaning to do so. Although between you and me, she likes these little like cream-filled caramel candies called cowtails or bullseyes i'd rather get her some of those it's like her favorite snack it's like her favorite candy and they taste awesome like dude dude if you don't already know you should find out it's good stuff it's good candy out there i don't know who makes it i don't remember who makes it otherwise i would share the name of the manufacturer but it's good stuff it's good stuff what was i doing again i slept i prayed i make wood belays and burn bodies. Yeah, that's that's what I was doing. That's what I was getting myself into. This this is this is what I wanted to do. I went to school for five years to be able to do this. Cut wood on a saw. Don't worry. It's exactly what I had in mind. When they said, Son, are you ready for engineering? I was like, that involves putting wood on a table to be sawed in half, right? And they were like to me, son, you know exactly what you're talking about. And I was like, thank you, professor. You know. As you know. I'm smart. <laughs> Remember, to everybody out there who may seem otherwise, just because, just because you have a high GPA does not make you a smart person. Just because you have a low GPA does not make you a not smart person. I believe that smartness, or rather intelligence, is measured by the way that you use the knowledge that you have. Think of it this way, right? I think if you had 100 bits of knowledge and your friend has only 20, I don't think that being intelligent or smart means that you have, is, is, the, is the person who uses, who has 100 and not the person who has 20. Instead, it's about how you use those ones. You can have 100 intelligence and not use 10% of it. That's insig- that's, that's not good. You're not a smart person. Instead, the smart one is the one who uses a high percentage of the intelligence points that they have. 
Granted, I don't think any system, any tabletop system that I know is allows you to like use intelligence points like that, but you, you get the idea. That's what I think. It's about to be able to, be able to apply your knowledge. But I feel like in the duration of my schooling, there was just way too many times where the test was like, ah, oh, you couldn't answer all the questions correctly. You get it. You, you get a low grade. Meanwhile, it would have been nice to know that, okay, well, of the questions that you did answer, you were able to tackle the easier ones or the more complex ones. I guess, well, if you have a weighted test, I guess that would probably be a little bit better there. Like, the you know, the ones that are, the harder ones get weighted more, so the scoring system is weighted in such a way that, you know, people who do well on the hard ones, but maybe not on that. I mean, maybe maybe that's opposite too, because maybe if, you, if you're, you know, really, really smart, you should be doing better on the smaller ones, so they should be weighted more. I don't know. I think it's just a differing philosophy, whatever you got. Whatever you got, it's probably going to work. Okay, so now I have got some faith like that. I got all these ashes. I actually don't need all these ashes. I think I'm just going to... I think I can sell these. It'd be really cool if I could, like, sell ashes. I don't think I can, though. And I have all this salt, too. I think I'm full up on ash and salt. I have, like, a hundred of each, I think. There's got to be a lot in here. Right? Got to have a lot in here. I have... Oh, actually, I don't have a lot of salt. Let's put some more salt in there. No, actually, I'm full up on salt. And where's my ash at? Where's my ash? My ash up here? My ash is crash, and I'm gonna mow it, you see? 23. What is this up here? White powder? <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. That's definitely not mine. I only want 100 ash. Actually, you know what? It's not It's not causing any good problems. Let's keep it there. And all these wheat seeds. Gonna put my seeds away. Well, now... I wait for a body to come, and I guess I inject it with the dark stuff. Actually, hold up a second. I can make more dark stuff. Let's go make some more dark stuff. Make more dark things. Make more dark things. Okay. I'm gonna make more evil things. There we go. I get more. Oh, I get blue points for that? I love opportunities to get more blue points. I love that. Do I have st stuff in my... Oh, I don't have a lot of... I could use a chest over here oh and i need more embalming tables okay well so while i while i wait for more buddies i will 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 make more embalming tables that's what i'll do and i'll make some embalming tables too i mean if you're gonna <sighs> apparently in this game the the tier one stuff sometimes has different recipes than the tier two stuff so I wouldn't blame myself for wanting at least one of each. So I need some flat planks, steel gears, and I think those are advanced conical flags. I honestly don't remember. Visco girls and their visks hydro flasks. I gotta know somebody who has a hydro flask. Actually, I probably know multiple people. Actually, one of my coworkers I think has a hydro flask though. They I don't think they're visco. I don't think it's a visco brand. Oh, gonna collect some of these pumpkin seeds to sell, because I make money off of pumpkins and onions. I make hamburgers with the onions. I also get paid for making gold star hamburgers, so I better get on that. Oh, I have a little bit of... Okay, I need a little more stuff in there. Nope, that's also gold star seeds. Do some of these, put the silvers away, get that, put the... Don't have enough silvers anymore. It makes me sad. Put some of that in there. Gonna go and do this. Put it in the ground. Put that there. Got... Nope. No, nope. What about you guys? Gold star? Gold star. Gold star. I love it. Needs more seed. Actually, the gold... Hmm. Next time I do that, I hope I remember to put quality fertilizer on there. Because I really should be doing that. Especially for the gold star onion seeds. Because I think the gold star onion seeds are actually incredibly difficult to find. It's not... It's not easy. It's not easy. All right, and I got plenty of carrots down here. I don't think I really need... I, I don't think I sell carrots. I don't need them on a regular basis. Okay. So I harvested that. Let's go back up here and... I need advanced conical flasks and flatboards. I don't have any wood right now, so let's work on the advanced conical flasks if I can. Requires water. Advanced conical flasks and just water. So let's get some water. Let's get some H2O up in here. Yeah. Bucket of clear water. Bucket of clear water can get me... You guessed it. 20 drops let's do it let's make as many as i can somebody schmexted me 
Oh, Anna sent me a picture. Why didn't you send me a two picture out? That's my dearest. Dosni Kwan is a. What did you send? <laughs> Caution. Old man ahead. China's turn. What is that? Interesting. Uh... <laughs> it's a surprise birthday party somewhere on the in law side of the family. Cameron has an arrest warrant for being too good of a streamer. Ah! Am I being taken in? Officer, I swear. <laughs> I deserve it. Please put me behind bars. I'm if this is if this is what I'm being arrested for, I suppose I'm guilty. <laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness. I'm back. I'm back. I'm forward. <laughs> that wasn't funny for anybody. And for that I apologize. Let's just move on and pretend that never happened. Instead, um... Hmm. How's the drink going? Oh, I love this! I love this drink. I am so happy to have this. Floridita, number 846. I cannot wait to see what they come up with for Floridita 847. Paul Tracy's in Colorado. Yo! A really nice state. I really, really want to go to Colorado. It's actually... It's funny that you say Colorado specifically. Because... Anna and I were just, we're literally just talking about attempting to make some, like, travel plans. Just, just because, just because we can. She's really stressed out with schoolwork and whatnot. And, you know, everybody deserves a break every once in a while. And so she was like, I really, really want to go to Denver. And I was like, then why not we go to Denver? Colorado's a really nice place. I've always wanted to go to Colorado. Colorado, a little, there's a funny, funny thing about Colorado is... Colorado is my favorite state. And no, it's not because of the reason that literally everybody's thinking because, you know, 420 blazing and all that stuff. <sighs> oh my God. No, it's actually because I think Colorado is an incredibly funny word to say. I just think it's a really fun state to, to say the word, to say the name of. That's why I really like Colorado. Colorado is my favorite state because it's fun to say. And I stand by that. I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Plus like, plus like, you can be a little ambiguous because Colorado kind of looks like Wyoming, and honestly, we're all a little ambiguous at times. I think that's I think that's accurate, you know? You know? I think that's accurate. Um, but I've always wanted to go to... I, I think the farthest west I've ever been has been Illinois for a convention. But I'd love to go farther. Eventually, I really hope I get the opportunity to go to California, Silicon Valley, because I, I work for a startup, and there's, there's business to be had over in California, and it'd be pretty cool if I had the opportunity to go to California, all expense, all expenses pay, paid by my employer. Be pretty cool. Yeah, the mountains are so nice. Oh, I forgot, it's actually at a high, uh, uh, it's at a really high altitude too, I forgot about that. Vale is so nice in the summer, you can go to the natural hot springs. I wanna go to hot springs, oh my god! But anyways, gotta go for dinner. Dude, enjoy it. I wonder if the altitude makes the food taste any better or worse. I assume better. I don't need all this salt in my life. Get this negativity out of here. I need conical flasks, which I needed for the embalming table, I believe. What else did I need? I needed, and I need steel gears. That's what I need. That's what I needed. I need steel gears. And to get steel parts, I use bowls. Bowls and steel. Bowls of steel. I require bowls of steel. If you require, you require parts. You need bowls and steel. I need some clay. I don't know where my clay is. I'm gonna go get more clay. Clay is pretty easy to grab. Did I get any more? Did I get any bodies? Oh my god, there's a body! <gasps> I gotta get the body. Body, 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 we're gonna have a body. Body, 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 inject it with the hotties! Yeah! Put it in there. Alright. Now, I wonder... Now, this is, again, this is just a working hypothesis. I think if I inject it with dark fluid, that I will be able to get dark stuff from it. Maybe. Maybe. I literally, I have, I have no, I have no for certainties there. And if anybody is certain about it, I don't want to know just yet. Let me try it first. Let me try it first. Although I'm not totally against the idea of, of hints. I'm not totally against the idea of like hints and stuff like that. But like backseat gaming sounds like it would be like, I like half the fun is me being able to figure it out. And if I struggle a little bit with it, eh. I suppose we can make some, we can make some premium quality content out of that, you know? I need some clay. I don't know exactly how much clay that I need, but I'll grab, I'll grab a bit of it. Grab a little bit of clay. A little bit of clay, a little bit of clay. Alright, that's probably enough. Eight? Yeah, that's fine. 
that's probably okay. I think this is enough. And you know, while I'm down here, might as well grab some wood. Grab a little piece of wood. Wood, 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 wood. Take that up. I'll turn that into more planks or billets or something. I'm hopefully going to come into the collection of a couple of different bodies and stuff, so I think i got to be prepared to dispose of them properly so that I get the burial certificates so I can sell them to the man at the tavern so I can get more money so I can become an aristocrat so I can take the girl to the town and eventually escape this hellbent world of destruction and morbidity. That's what i got to do. And for that, I need 12 gold pieces, and I am not even a 12th of the way there. All right. Anyway, let's make some bowls. I can only make six ceramic bowls. That's fine. I'll make six ceramic bowls. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. All righty. I have no space for bowls. Interesting. I have peat in my inventory. Let me go put the peat over here. Oh, I have more maggots too. Delicious. More peat? For the soul. I don't know why, but it made me think of those those uh the books like the Bible people or the like ah chicken noodle soup for the for the soul for the child's soul like it's peats and maggots for the young one's soul the young zealot's soul requires fertilizer. <laughs> By fertilizer we mean actual rotting bits of detritus. Detritus. Now that's. That's a good word. Word of the day. Detritus. There we go. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. How would Google... I have time before these things smelt anyway. What is... What is the definition of detritus according to the Google? Define detritus. Why won't you speak? You're supposed to speak. Why are you not speaking? Anyway, it's Google supposed to speak. Waste or debris of any kind. Similar. Gravel, sand, silt, or other material produced by erosion. Organic matter produced by the decomposition of organisms. Literally. Detritus. Quite literally. This is detritus. Anyway, so I got the steel gears. I'm gonna put this clay away. The clay away. Putting the clay away. Gonna make some steel gears so I can inject bodies. Um, well, the one the one embalming process should be finished by now. I don't know, like, if I... If what I'm doing actually gives me a chance to get a dark heart, if I inject it more than once, will I be more likely to get some more? Like, if I make this, like, this, this do, like, oh, no, no, I can only do it once. Okay. Empty table. Let's try it. I don't know. Let's try this. I want the heart. I want a dark heart. I hope this works. Mm. That's a regular heart. All right. Well... Alright, then. I don't know. Maybe if I try to get more... Maybe there are more, like, dark body parts that I can get. So if I try to extract it all from this dude, maybe one of them... If any of these come back dark, then I think I've... I've... You know, I've got enough proof for myself. I don't know if you get dark meat, though. Dark intestines? If your intestines are dark, I don't know if that's a good thing. Dark skin? I... Mm. <laughs> well, if you have dark skin, that's okay. You're human just like the rest of us. They call it dark skin? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. All right, what else do we got? I don't see anything dark coming out of this body. Nothing at all. Oh, I'm out of energy. I need to eat more maggots. Oh, I have no more maggots left. Oh, my God. What about... Oh, protection potion. That's not going to help. Ah! I'll drink some beer. Beer's good for the soul. Gotta love that. Bones? Dark bones? Got dark bones? Got any, got any dark anything? Dark brain? Got the darkest of brains? Anything going on up there? All right. I... Didn't get a single dark anything for that. All right. Organs should be fleshy looking. Organs are fleshy looking. Well, I mean... Huh. All right. Well. That didn't work at all. They are kind of fleshy looking. These organs are very fleshy looking. Honestly, I like the realism of this game. They're trying to go for an accurate representation of the body. Because we have respect for the mortuary process. We do. We do. Anyway, um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna put some of this stuff on the shelf over here. I'll, I'll, I'll put them away later. I, I honestly thought that maybe, just maybe, that would get me some more stuff. Maybe not. 
Interesting. Well, that, well, if that's the case, maybe... Hmm. Maybe there are some other injections that I just... I don't know about that. Well, I guess before, while I'm waiting for a body and waiting for those other ingredients to... To do... There's a dark injection. There's other things here, but I can't... I can't read it. Maybe if I use my mouse, can I, like, scroll down? No, I cannot. I really cannot. All right, that's unfortunate. I don't know what those other injections are. Or maybe... Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Dark injection can be applied to a body and the body to modify its characteristics. Oh, we have another body. Preservative halts the body's decay, reduces body's decay, modifies characteristics. Glue injection. I don't know what good the glue do. Silver injection. Silver injection. Gold injection, which requires golden elixir or silver elixir. I have silver. You know what? Let's try a silver injection. I, I literally don't know what this will do, but I'm curious. Now I've got silver injections. Love that. Love that. All right, let's see. Let's try to inject you with silver. Maybe this, like, gives me money. I like the monies. I wanted to put all except for one in there. Let's try it. Let's let's give it a shot. Maybe, can I? Actually, I wonder. Actually, this is another thought that I have. If I make an embalming table too, which I have the ingredients for now, can I inject two liquids at once? Because if I can do that, I want to see what happens if I combine different types of injections together. Maybe, just maybe, that will have the additional, like, multiplicative effect that I am hoping for. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping so. But either way, getting some, in some injection stuff is happening here. Inge uh, embalming table 2. I don't know if that helps, to be honest. Um... Doesn't look like it does any more than the original, but let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Or maybe it's just faster. It's probably just faster, but I don't know. Nah, it's just one. All right, and I can hold space for more body. All right, well, let's try the silver injection. It can add one minus one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's try it. I don't exactly no i mean I, I i suppose i understand the merit of being able to do so it kind of makes sense to be able to modify the characteristics like that but i thought there might have been more interesting i wonder like i'm really i'm really really curious about like what else oh my god i can break that but i could break that back there i always walk it around these places and i never realized that urn was there huh look at that can I break these things? These barrels or something? Nah, I cannot. Can I access these barrels? Actually, can I do that? Barrel? Barrel of stuff? Barrels of... No, just kidding. Alright, well. Hmm. Alrighty then. Oh, I'm out of carrots. I should add more carrots. Add more carrots. There we go. More carrots. My Carrotten. How far are you to getting home? I don't have any of the key items. So, I'm technically not close at all. Although I've been slowly but surely making progress. I need six key items in order to unlock the portal to get myself home. And I don't have any of them yet. But I'm like, I'm close to a couple of them. I think I'm close to like three of them. And one of them I'm working towards right now. If I can figure out how to get a dark heart, then I'll get it. Is that on purpose? I'm just doing just casual running it, I guess. I'm attempting to get I'm attempting to get myself all the way through this game. I want to do a I'm hoping to make a full playthrough of this, but taking a little bit of time. I don't know if it's on purpose per se. It's just kind of a consequence of the stream schedule that I've got set up. My schedule is not set up to finish games quickly. <laughs> and I don't do it very often. Oh well, let's add some dowels in here. Ah, put my billets in there. Mm. Mm. Oh gosh, I really want to figure... I gotta get a dark heart somehow. I don't know if that works. I have not once gotten a dark heart. Or any any sort of dark organ. And I thought... I thought I was under the impression that it comes about randomly. But that might not be the case, you know? So you already did that. You've been... You've been done. Or maybe I should put you on a better table. Should I put you on this table? Maybe I should be putting you on this table instead. Oh, maybe that was my problem. Maybe it wasn't on the right table. Mm, maybe. Okay, heart. Just a heart. Flesh. Just the flesh. Any dark, any dark things? I wonder. Maybe, 
Yeah, you know. Maybe I was maybe I didn't put them on the right table. I need better tables. Eat all these maggots. Make me feel good. Interesting. Okay, no no darkness there. The darkness within has not been released just yet. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I hope to figure it out. The, my my thought, I mean, I didn't think that my thinking was super far off. Like, dark injection leads to dark organs, naturally. But I bet there's something else that I might be missing. Maybe if I... You know, on next... On next Upward Facing Day, I'll ask the Inquisitor about dark hearts. Or maybe, maybe I should be asking... Oh, maybe I should be asking the Bishop. Maybe... Maybe he would know about the dark hearts. The dark hearts of the dark arts. Maybe he would know. Oh, I didn't mean to stifle my sleeping like that. I am not as refreshed as I could be, Mr. Graveyard Keeper. Not really. Silly, silly, silly. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Or maybe, like, maybe my skull friend has something to say to me. It's kind of interesting that some of the characters, like... Like, I literally have no idea. There was a ghost character that was over... That would hang by my bed. I have no idea how to talk to him. Um, there's a skull in my basement who sits there and bounces around. He drank my beer, he drank my wine, and now he doesn't talk to me at all. It's kind of, kind of odd. The game is not, this game is not super, super obvious with its instructions, which can make it a little slow running sometimes, but, yeah, I enjoy myself. Let's extract some fat from it. You know, I don't think dark fat is a thing. I don't think that's a thing. If it's a thing, I, I gotta ask why. Well, I get, that's, that's the thing. I, I, other than just the modification on the, the the white skulls and the red skulls, do the injections really do anything different? I, I gotta wonder. I'm starting to think that they don't. But then again, I have only done one dark injection. I'm sure there are, I'm sure there is more to be found. I'm more than positive that there is more to be found get out of here and also another another nuance of this is the fact that you know when you you know when you take out the body parts or put them back in you can modify the characteristics of the body to make it better for your graveyard and i really haven't been paying attention to that right now because i have just other priorities i guess all right let's put you on the embalming table let's give you dark injection Dark injection and make it make it so make it so just like that make it so and then I'll come back and hopefully We'll be better off. Do I have to like use more of the stuff to be able to unlock more embalming workers? No, there's something else over here it's Hidden I have to reveal it somehow maybe Maybe there is like other quests that I should be doing I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try a couple of dark injections. I'm gonna see if that works and if it doesn't, then I'll just, I'll try something different. I'll try something different. I'll go around and do other things. Well, in the meantime, I wanted to make another embalming table, I think, right? Yeah, I, I did. I did. Oh, I need more conical flasks. All right. I'll go make some more, Dad. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that won't. Maybe, 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 maybe. I am as yet unsure, unsure. Let's see. Ah, I need some glass. Need some glass. I'll make some glass. Make some glass. Oh, yes, indeed. I need three. Let's make a multiple of 12. That's fine. Is that quick? That's quick-ish. It's ish quick. How much space do I have in my inventory? I could probably go get some. I could go harvest some, some stuff from up top. Let's try it. Astro's about to get a tarot card reading. You don't know what'll happen with it, but who knows what'll happen. Ooh. I like stuff like that. I've always wanted to go and get like my uh, my palm read or something like that. I don't know if I'm much a believer in the, you know, in the spirituality of it all, but like I like the idea. I like the thought that, you know, maybe you'll see the world from a different a different perspective. Yeah, need some direction. Like maybe maybe the heart of the cards will give you some sort of direction that you need or kind of jog whatever's going on or maybe just push the juju of the world in the right direction. You never really know. You never know. Right now, direction is something you haven't had in months. Dude, yeah, get some get some good in your system. Honestly, people find inspiration, direction, motivation in the the farthest of places. 
and this could be the thing that jump starts it every everything like that i feel you know it, everything like that needs some sort of a spark oh put that there please and sometimes this is this this could be the spark this could be the spark that you desperately so need and if it helps hey you know what who cares if there's any sort of like sciencey hullabaloo behind it or not even if there isn't if it helps then what's the harm in it there is literally no harm if it does good things for you then i see nothing wrong with it i suppose some people would be like ah, uh, no science no good but like dude whatever it's fine get some more gold gold grape seeds consumption oh don't mind if i do Oh, that is, that is delightful. That is delightful. God, I want to see what else Mezcal can do. Based off of the knowledge that I now have for Mezcal concoctions, oh my God, I cannot wait to try some more. But alas, I must pace myself. Can't go doing all the drinking at once or else I'll run on the Mezcal and I'll probably get a little drunk and I need to go to work tomorrow. <sighs> kind of got to do that. Glass. Glass. Glass, glass, glass. I think I had another body that came in, right? Yeah, I think I did. I think I had another body. So let's... You're the next contestant on getting your veins injected with gunk. Got a lot of skulls there. I see the purpose of the injections, though. Wow, that's got a lot of skulls there. And so technically, if I take out the right... If you mix it, if you take out and like kind of figure out the puzzle, of like what's the best combination for the particular body, you can get like some really, really good skulls out of this. Um, like the little skull indicators. But that's not my goal here. My goal is the heart, the dark heart. And I got a regular heart, which is fine, but like kind of wanted something more than that. You'd think, you'd think, you'd think. I might have to do some double checking here. I think, I think I might actually have to do some double checking here because I am woefully lost without direction <laughs> i need direction too astro i do like you just have had some a hard couple days oh as of late and yesterday and today has been like a lot sounds like you need some positive vibes and hopefully hopefully the cards that are in store for you give you that sort of like peace of mind because i feel like i feel like depending on whether like if you get a good tarot reading that could really be like you know that might be uplifting but if you get a bad tarot reading, and I'm sure, I'm sure, like, you know, just because you pull the death card doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I think there's many different ways of reading the tarot. Um, not that I would know, but I feel like I've watched a couple of, you know, psychological, spiritual animes and stuff to the point where I feel like I get the gist of it a little bit. But like, but like, you know, at the very least, I feel like any time, any time that I'm in a position where I'm feeling down or, you know, depressed or not in a good mood... I find that the perfect jump start is a change of direction, a change of pace, a change of flow. Like whenever I get, I'm the kind of person who like, I feel like I function in phases, if that makes any sense at all. And I personally feel that when a phase of mine is about to end, like when, when I'm feeling bad, that just means like one of my phases is about to turn over into a new one. I'll start doing something differently. Like currently I'm in a phase where I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos. I got back into watching uh, Markiplier on YouTube. I used to watch him a lot, like early college, and I just kind of fell out of it when he started doing the um, um, the um, the skits, like a heist with uh, a heist with Markiplier, or, like date with Markiplier, stuff like that. And I just I kind of fell out of watching him, and I know I just hadn't gotten back to it. Oh, it's upward facing day. I need to go talk to the Inquisitor and see if he has any any guidance for me. Um, but, like, I kind of fell out of watching him. But I, I kept my subscription and stuff because, like, I, I, I like his content. I think he's a very, very, very positive person out there. I personally find, and maybe it's because I'm just not looking in the right place, that there's just not enough positivity out there. And I personally feel that he is an amazing... He's a wonderful, wonderful positive influence on the internet. And I think the world needs more of that kind of stuff. Um, a role model. I, I'd say a role model of mine. I think he's a really, really good dude. And I think, you know, there, there can be more... There should be more... Markiplier type people in this world, to be perfectly honest. But so I watched through, I watched through his, um, his playthrough of his game called Inscription, which I've seen a lot of people play recently. Oh, that game's good. I think I kind of, I, I don't know if I want to play it myself or not yet. I don't know. Take the burning call. No. Okay. So you don't have any information about Dark Hearts, but I bet, but I bet, I bet your brother does. Bet that a, um, 
the bishop has some information about dark hearts. Or maybe even, maybe the astrologer has some info on that. Or maybe, I don't know, anybody could have, anybody could have information on that. Maybe we should just talk around. Maybe we should talk to the astrologer. I'll, I'll, I'll try, I'll try some folks in the village on, on moon day. I'll talk to some folks in the village and see if they have any further guidance for me on that. And in the meantime, uh, oh, I'm out of energy, right? I needed to do that, so I'm gonna go rest on up, get myself a little, get myself a little shut eye. There we go. Peace on out for the evening. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, a body. Another body has come along. Barely had enough energy for the first one. Dark injections, here we come. I want the evil dark arts to grace my house. Open a portal to the demons now. Bring all the hellspawn of Satan around. Alright. You. You. Buddy. Buddy. I'm going to inject you so hard with darkness will that help me with my agenda probably not i think what i'll do this is what i'm gonna do i am gonna attempt this next body with all i can then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ask around town and the bishop to see if they have information about dark organs oh you know maybe snake's got some knowledge on that oh i feel hmm you know I do have an entire area of my basement that I don't go to very often. Maybe maybe the secret's over here. I see this thing on the wall here. I don't know if reading it would have done any good. I don't know. Ooh, let me let me check back here. Cause like there is more stuff back here. Maybe I just haven't explored it enough. If I can I, like, interact with these fountains? No. Like this, the skulls on the wall, the, the thing itself? Can I? No? What if I go to the bottom? Is there something at the bottom of the dungeon? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. There's books down here and stuff. Can I open this? This looks like something that I, No? Okay. Now nah, you know what? I, I'm gonna get myself out of here. This, is, this isn't helping. I don't think this is helping. Ooh. Maybe Gunther has something to say to me about darkness. The inner darkness that lies within. Gunther, my body. Or maybe this table down here. I don't know. I'm not gonna die. Walk around it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nope. Have you completed everything in the dungeons? I have. I've gotten all the way to the bottom of the dungeon. I went to the bottom and found the apple that lies beneath. But that's that's all that was down there. I did I did that, and I still have. I think I have one more. Do I have one more mission for Snake? Help Snake with a- bring a dark heart for the ritual. I need to bring Snake the dark heart. That's what he needs for the ritual. So I guess he doesn't have any information on it, or otherwise he would have that himself. The mer the Inquisitor needed- I need more points for the Inquisitor. I'm kind of blocked off from that now. The Astrologer, find a way to charm forgiveness. The- the Bishop needs- I need 200 at the graveyard. Does he have an eye patch though? I don't think he does. He doesn't have an eye patch. That's odd. I think he's missing an eye though open uh broken cabinet don't don't need that nothing over here nothing over here in these little bowls over here Gunther, go there tell me about the resurrection ingredients like no i already know about the, the resurrection ingredients i know how to make zombies does he hide in a box he doesn't hide in the box unfortunately but he does hide somewhere in my i guess he maybe hides in the dungeon on every day other than greenward day green day it's green uh green green martian day that's the green one i hmm the man confuses me that man gives me all types of confusion. Oh well. Alright, well let's put some of my gunk in here. Put all my goo in there. And let's do another body! Take you, put you to the side, get you over here, let's see. Hello you. Dark heart? Baby got a dark heart? Baby got a black soul? Maybe! No. No darkness in you. 
Maybe I gotta put the heart back inside. If I put the heart back inside. Maybe. The heart back inside and then take it back out? Can I craft it? I don't know if I can craft it. I don't know. I'll ask around town a bit. I'm gonna ask around town. I'm gonna see if anybody else has anything to say about this. Help me out, maybe. And if they don't, which I don't think they do, then, um, then, you know, I'll, I'm probably just gonna look it up. Because I'm, I'm confused. It's not... It's not overwhelmingly clear to me on how I am supposed to do this. And that's a bit of a block for me. I'm sure if I just did more stuff, eventually it'll become clear to me or by random chance I'll get it. But it's very possible that it's all random chance and I'm just not having a good day. None of this stuff is helping. Nah, you just have like research-based things. Does the fisherman have anything? No. Asking around town. Get some more burial certificates, so I have to... Gotta sell those anyway, so I might as well walk around town and see if there's anybody... Anybody got anything to say about the darkness that lies within? Anybody? Anybody? Me? Oh, me please. Okay, here, yeah, what do you got? Like, mm, I have darkness inside of me. Mm hmm So do the rest of us. Join the club. Still have no idea what this thing is, just hanging out in the forest. Completely unclear to me. Dig has absolutely nothing for me. dig a ding 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 dong bing a dig a ding ding dong I can buy hemp from you, that's pretty much it. But you have no news about the darkness within. Unfortunate. What about... Gypsy Baron is up this way. Actually, did I have a mission for the Gypsy Baron? I guess I'll see when I get up there. A gypsy! Gypsy Baron! Gypsy! Gypsy, Gypsy, Gypsy! Hello! Where are you? There you are. Do you know about hearts? No. Alrighty then. Anything special in your wares? No. Astro has Googled it for me. Let's see what the townsfolk have to say. And then I'm gonna ask the bishop on Sunday. I'm gonna ask the bishop too. I don't think... I honestly have a feeling that this is blocked off by me getting my graveyard to a particular level. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. And if that's the case, then, oh, man, that is such a long way to go. I haven't been making progress on that at all. But we'll see. But first the tavern. Then back to the place. You're not the place I want to be. I want to be down here. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to make some money. I don't think I don't think the miller or the carpenter or any of those folks have any information on this. Maybe, maybe you? No. How about you? Hey, Miss Chain. Better talk to my husband. No, that's fine. Um, no, I'm not going to buy your ingredients for a third time. Oh, oh, hey, you. Hey, you have something to say to me? I heard about the last witch burning. Sounds like it was quite an event. I think it's absolutely barbaric, but hey, who am I to judge? In old days, our people arranged fights to death just for entertainment. This is progress. I don't support the burning. For me, it's just a way to sell beer. People even told me that you serve better beer than I do here. I don't believe them. It's actually pretty good. I can bring you some. Bring us some beer. I have beer on me. I have beer on me. Here, take some beer. Oh, progress. By thunder, this is great. You're a fine brewer indeed. You know what? Go upstairs. Take the scroll from my table. It's my secret project. Honey beer. I think you just might be able to do it. Yes! This might be good. Bad luck today. No talk with the captain. No talk with the capitan. I get to go upstairs. I've never been able to go upstairs again. Hey, look at this. Wow. Look at that. Open a recipe for special beer. Special beer. I'll show you special beer. Create a mug of mead. Oh, sweet. What else can I find up here? Anything? Anything good for me? I want to gain something from this. I have nothing but things to gain from here. Right? 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 No, of course not. Okay, well, I grabbed the recipe. So then I'll talk to you again, I guess. Or do I have to make you the beer? Do I have to make the beer? Suppose I should probably make the beer. That's probably what I gotta do. I probably gotta make the beer. Alright, well, I'll sell this to you. I got a gold now. That's good. Don't usually have gold. That's something I like. Like, nice. Nice when I get that. Um, so how do I... How do I make it? Tell me how to do. Tell me how to make the special beer. Nectar of the gods. Got that at a brewing stand. I suppose I need... Honey. That makes sense. I have honey, right? Let's go back home. I think I have honey up here, right? I got six pieces of honey. How much honey do I need? I don't think you actually need... I think I know the gist of how to make mead. And I don't think it's incredibly difficult. Let's see. Brewing... Alcohol distiller... Brewing stand. Mug of, mug of mead. Hops. 
Um, I have hops and water. I just need more water. Oh my god, let's just go get some more water. Let's make some mead, boo. Let's do it. Make some gold star mead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, at the very least, we're not injecting ourselves with, uh, you know, we can inject ourselves with whatever we want to. You know, we can inject ourselves with dark stuff all we want to, but at least we'll have mead and beer. Oh, at least we'll have mead and beer. I don't think those are anything. They're never gonna change, and it's never gonna, never gonna change. Love to see that. All right, tomorrow I'm gonna ask the bishop if he knows anything about the dark arts and the dark hearts. And if he doesn't, then whatever, dude. Let's make some of that shit. Can I make more? I have more. I can. If I just had more water, I can make some more good mead. I'm gonna make some more good mead. I want the best mead. Best mead in the world, baby. Nectar with the gods. Nectar with the gods. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more energy. Oh, why am I using my good onions when I could be using my... Could have been using my mugs. This is so easy to make. This is... The beer is so freaking easy to make. God, I should be... All of my... All of my, like, energy needs should be satisfied by beer. Because apparently, apparently, and this is contrary to popular belief, you can drink high-quality beer and not get drunk. It's true. This game has proven it. And nobody can convince me otherwise. All right, so we got some of that going. I'll go sleepies. Go do some sleepies. And then... Oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we got. Oh, my goodness gracious. And as we know, it's Lord's Day. Might as well pray. I pray for the darkness. I pray. Oh, Lord, I pray for the darkness. The Lord of this world, I pray for the darkness. Where is the darkness now? Where's your darkness now, heathens? I'll show you darkness. All right, let's get to work. Let's see. Maybe, maybe dark. Maybe dark. Maybe dark, dark, dark. Dark stuff. Dark good things. Dark things? No darkness. No darkness at all. I don't think. But I got a lot of meat. I can sell the meat. I can use the meat for hamburgers. It's good stuff. like to see that. like to see that. Nah, no darkness. All right, well, put this all in here. Hey, what's up, Jerry? You talking? What do you got? Leave. K. Fine. All right, well, you got literally nothing in your body, so I leave you be. I leave you for now. Please rest in peace. Or pieces. Or ashes. I'll burn you eventually. Don't worry. I'm going for you. I am definitely coming for you. Alright. Let's have mass. You, down there. What is your confession? Oh, what's this? You haven't prayed to the dark arts enough? Unfortunate. Get better. Get good, scrub. Pray more. Oh, I put my prayer downstairs. What if... Yo, wait a minute. I just had a thought. What if there's a prayer? Can I pray for the darkness? Can I pray for the darkness? Why? Well, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Hold on. This might be... This might be something. I haven't thought about that. I haven't thought about that. Is there a prayer for the darkness? Sermon money card for the desk. It's about sin and forgiveness based on the couple of stories from your... Prayer for repentance. What does repentance give for me? Prosperity, commercial blessing, none of this stuff. None of this stuff seems super dark. Maybe I need pheromones. Maybe I need some of this stuff. No. Repentance? Do I have a prayer for repentance? How would I make a prayer for... I'm curious about that. How do I make a prayer for repentance? I need one of those? We need one of those chapters? Alright, well, let's make... Let's make a chapter. Let's do this. Make a chapter. Make a thing. It's not gonna be a good prayer, but it'll be a prayer nonetheless. Alright, let's do this. Make one of these. Uh, okay. Let's try it. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll repent today. Maybe this will be the day. Alright, let's do prayer for repentance. Rep repeat it. It'll be a silver one. That'll be that'll be good. That'll be good. Right? Maybe? Alright, let's pray for that today. Got a lot of blue points coming my way. Maybe this will help. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll see what that effect is. I haven't tried it yet. And I got a silver one too. That's awesome. Alright. 
We pray for sin. We pray for not so sin. We pray for everything in between. And our church is awful. Awesome. I said awesome. And you should give me more stuff. Wow, that is a lot of faith. Holy shiz. Ow. Wowza. Nice. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. All not wow, that's a lot of... Holy credulum nuts. It's a lot more faith than I've gotten before. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome, Nit. So what am I buff? More people come during the week to confess their sins. I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm actually not at all surprised about that. All right, well, I did a thing. Hey, you, anything about the darks? It's about the cathedral. Nothing about the cathedral. All right. You have nothing. You have no information, and my graveyard is abysmal. All right. What do we got? I choose to accept help this time. I choose to accept it this time. I literally have no idea how to get the dark art. My goodness. Can I approve my heart my um my thing at all? Build stone fence. Oh, yo, wait. Ooh. Can build stone fence. Polished brick of stone, carved piece of stone, complex iron parts. I can do that. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's do some of that. Ugh. I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a little confuzzled. I'll look at, I'll, I'll go burn these bodies and then I'll, I'll see what the internet has to say about that. I really, I always feel bad looking things up, but like, if you don't, I don't know, if you don't spell it out for me, I'm gonna get really confused. And when I want to make progress, I wind up doing things. All right, I'm gonna, let's see, let's see. Where's my, where's my cellular phone at? What do we got? Dark hearts. Dark hearts. How do we do? Dark heart graveyard keeper. All right. It, there's quests related. Yeah, I got that. There's also dark brains and dark intestines, apparently. Bring him a dark heart. This is requested. It's, it's, it's related to two quests. That's cool. Study. This he has dark brain, dark heart. Inquisitor needs evidence for the presence of the occult. I can make death extract with it. That's pretty cool. I can create with it, but like, how do you... But how do you get it? It's a type of body part. Decomposition products. It's related to... How do you get this thing? I know what it's used for. I would have figured out what it was used for eventually. But how do you get this thing? Okay, okay. Different search query. How to get it. How do you get it? How do you do it? Tell me. Tell me. Get a high friendship score with the Inquisitor. You may think you need to inject some sort of dark elixir into a dead body to get the organs, but that's not true. Then why would you call it dark injection? Why would you have dark hearts and dark injections and create and not have them related to each other? But the truth is you're not going to get any of the dark arrows if you don't have a high friendship with the Inquisitor. Burning will eventually be put on pause. Around this time, you'll be able to unlock the unlock the ability to obtain the dark heart, dark intestine, and dark brain. All right. Okay. So, apparently, I thought that I needed to do this good, awesome burgers, good, awesome beer thing, this song and dance, once. Because I would think if I were developing a game, then doing something in the correct direction, I would give my players a very obvious key that, hey, that was good. You should do it again because it will do something good for you. I didn't get any of that. Very, very confusing. Also, I have all this meat now and I have this beer and I drink that beer. I might as well drink the beer. Now I know that I should actually be waiting and using that beer on other things. But I know this now. I know that now. And I'm glad that I do. Just get a bunch of pails of water. I'll, I'll get a bunch of pails of water. And then I'll keep them in my inventory. And then I'll just, you know, use the pails of water to get more water. Apparently, I need to do that whole witch burning thing two or three more times. So. I love, I love this game. I really like enjoying this game. 
but it is a little hard to read sometimes. I'll give it that. That was very confusing. I would have... I'm glad I looked it up, actually. Usually, usually I feel really bad about looking things up, but if looking something up is the only way that I'm going to figure something out, like in this case, I would have... I don't think I ever would have figured this out on my own. I don't think I ever would have... Unless by pure chance, I would have played this game for many, many more sessions and eventually figured out how to do the hearts. And I would have been, like, so confu like, confused out of my mind. So, I will say that I have no regrets looking that up. Otherwise, I would have never figured it out to begin with. So, that's my story, and I'm going to stick with it. That being the case, I'm going to make a bunch of beer. I'm going to make a, make a bunch of hamburgers. And my goal, my goal is to get a single dark heart and give it to Snake by the end of this stream. Sorry, you would have told you just noticed the computer was using Yahoo for some reason instead of Google. That's freaking wild. And no, 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 no worries there. You don't have to apologize for that. All is well. All is well. Everything will be fine. Okay, so the beer and I need this meat. I got all this meat. I'm gonna use this meat. I need more meat. Gotta get more meat. And basically, your tarot card didn't do much for me on the direction stuff. Out of curiosity, would you mind sharing what your reading was? I'm curious. And I'm wondering, did somebody give you an interpretation too? Or did you kind of determine what the interpretation is on your own? I mean, I don't know if there was like a professional reading or stuff. Because that sounds, that sounds interesting to me. Let's see. I gotta get this meat. Gotta do this meat. Need this meat. Gotta, gotta make this meat in the burgies. Gotta get the burgies, the biggest burgies. All right, where, where do burgers again? Are you at the bottom of here? You're over here. And I also need to make dinners for the, um... For the, for the merchant, which I haven't done yet, and eventually I will. Where the hell is burgers? Oh, I make burgers over here. Yeah, that was it. I make burgers right here, and for that, I need cooked meat. So I need that. Let's make some raw sliced meat. Oh my god. Alright, let's make some more. I'll drink mead. Mead isn't used for this type of stuff, so mead will be what I use for energy. Uh, more sliced meat, please. More sliced meat, please. More sliced meat. More sliced meat. Do, 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 do. And then I'll cook that meat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cook that meat. I'll make some good, good top quality burgies. Top quality burgers. Top top quality burgers. Welcome back, my dearest. I'm trying to make the dark arts come out, but it ain't it ain't happening. It's getting there, one way or another. They're not coming out? No, well, we'll get there. Are they in the closet? No, they're not in the closet, but I apparently need to rip them from the bonds of friendship that I share with the Inquisitor. Eventually. Eventually. Oh, and Astro's tarot card reading. Basically, getting into it, there's situations going on in your life, and there's emotional issues taking place with others in your life currently. Getting into the her getting into the hermit. Oh, okay, the hermit card. You're entering a period where you need to do soul searching and start reclaiming yourself. Oh, there we go. You're reclaiming yourself and putting yourself back together again. You'll need to enter a state of solitude. Take that however you will, so you can step back from relations with others and step back from events and situations taking place that take the eventual situations that are taking place, causing you to distress. So you can really reflect on everything going on and take a course that is best for you to take that is healthy for your views on life and where you want to be. Going under the hermit, you get nine of swords. Oh, so there's a lot of things holding you down emotionally, whether that be things like like bad emotions, you'd be feeling negative thoughts, bad things, and you're having a lot of worry and anxiety in your life in that moment. The six of wands, which I believe is below that, representing things like success, strength, recognition. You work on taking time for yourself to get into the better and healthier state you see fit, then you're gonna start doing a lot better and it's gonna be rewarding for you. The strength card, oh my God, there's so much there. The strength card, I thought you only do three cards during tarot, but apparently maybe you do some more. You can do like, a T formation. Oh, it, it depends cool. on how they're trained and what they draw. Nice. The strength card, pretty self-explanatory, represents, represents stress, success and power. The eight with it also represents things like power, success, courage, and the ones in itself. The five of cups means that somewhere in the future, you're going to feel some disappointment. It could be because you didn't end up having a future or situation to go to exactly where you wanted to go. Man, makes a lot of sense, actually. I mean, I mean, I know this was your reading, but like, I know in the particular, the one, th the one of the things that really, really stuck out for me for that was that there's like, there's a point, there was a point in my life that I came to where I was like, wow, I literally have no idea what's going on with my, actually it was before, before I got my job and while I was still going on and 
gosh, Cam, roast me, why don't you? LOL. No, I didn't mean it that way. But I mean, like, like one of the things that I vibed from that was the, the hermit part. And that was not having the direction. Not having the direction was something that I faced a few months ago. And it was a, at a point where I really felt like constantly. Actually, I, I mean, it lasted for a good couple months for me, I think. And I had such a lack of direction in my life. Apparently, the my, you know, looking back on it now, because hindsight is 2020, is what I needed in life was a little bit, of, a little bit of income, a little bit, a little bit of stuff to support me financially, so that I can get my mind off of the stress of being able to pay bills, so that I can focus on other things that matter. I got into streaming because of it, because you know, one of the original ideas was like, you know, like maybe, maybe there'll be some like money coming out of this that I can support myself with. Full time job totally knocks that out of the water. I don't do Twitch as a means to support myself financially. Any any money get, that gets made from this anyway goes back in the streaming community and stuff like that. So I'm not really using it for myself. Although I joke about like using it to buy pizza and stuff like that, which technically that comes out of my other my other accounts, my spending accounts. This stuff doesn't go to my spending account. It goes to my project account that I've got messed up. Uh, but the the person who did Astro's tarot card reading did an oracle reading too, but you don't know what that is, but that will be worth a share too. I don't know what an oracle reading is, but but I can totally agree that not that not that my agreement is anything necessary here, but I feel like being able to take some time to really look inward and like reflect on where you are currently kind of gives you a bit of an idea of like where you want to go next and it kind of like it kind of like gears your compass to the direction of where you might want to go. And although it might not be exactly where you want to go, exactly in the direction, it could at least be putting you at least close, like kind of getting your bearing straight. It might not be exactly the same bearing, but it might be a better bearing than what you were on before, you know? So the Oracle reading uh, was, an, it was that Currently, there's a lot of mental conflict going on in Astro's life, and it's leaving you, leaving him discontent with how things currently, currently are, and you want to change. Astro's emotions and feelings are currently hurting, and you're going to have to work through things to better up over time. You'll have to work a lot on your sense of authority and peace in life, and it's going to take a lot of time, so you're going to have to be patient with things and with yourself and figure out where you want to be in the future and work on yourself according to, accordingly to get to said place and be healthy for yourself and others. But when time comes, when the time comes to where you what you are, where you want to be with yourself, you're gonna be seeing new people coming into your life. That all and that'll be good for you, and life will be moving in a good direction. Honestly, it's kind of like on, honestly, the oracle reading and the tarot card reading you got makes me it reminds me a, like a lot, like a lot of where I, where I was like circa about like six months ago to like ten months ago. Like there was that couple month period. It was a long, it was a long time, and it wasn't a very, very good time. I was not a very happy camper at that point. Don't get me wrong. Like in terms of like, I guess a level of stress. Like uh, like a, in terms of like being at the lowest point in my life, it wasn't the lowest point in my life, but it was kind of only a little bit above that. The lowest point in my life was stress related, which eventually wound up leading into the whole other downward spiral that I that I had. Um, but. But it kind of it kind of feels like that. Hopefully, hopefully, like you know, and I wouldn't say like my particular situation was like really really bad. I wouldn't say it was like life threatening or anything like that. But you know, I hope that wherever you're at is not absolute low. And if it is absolute low, then on the bright side, it can only go up from there. Basically, everything you're doing, but it worries you. Yeah, you know, that's a that's a funny thing. Like uh, you know. Being told like what your fortune is or what your oracle reading is can be a little like you know I I'd be kind of freaked out on that because if you think about if you think about it once somebody like I feel like the idea and this is gonna sound a little like odd but the idea of the unknown is very comforting to me because in the unknown is uncertainty and within uncertainty is things that you just don't know will happen yet at the very least like if i don't know what's about to happen i don't know for a fact that it's going to be bad so i for one and i don't know if it's just like optimism speaking or my personality but like even in times that you don't know what things are going like what what's going on there is definitely an idea of positivity there could be positivity there could be negativity there could be something in between whatever what have you but when you know what your future, when you have an idea of what your future is, or you have, or maybe if you don't even know what your future is, because, you know, clairvoyance might not be exactly what you think it is. But when you have your mind 
focused, whether somebody told you or whether you came to it on your own, on a particular future, a particular set of events, it can sometimes be really disconcerting that you're like, you're so convinced, like, oh my god, this is exactly what it's going to be. I don't know if I'm okay with knowing that it's exactly going to be. And you can feel that way about good things or bad things. Maybe knowing that the future was going to be a really, really good thing kind of makes you feel bad. Honestly, I, many, uh, many more years ago, thought to myself, like, wow, my life is really, really good right now. I think it's going to stay that way. And that was kind of, I'm going to be honest, it felt a little disconcerting for me. Because I was like, but if I know things are going to be good, that means that it could be, it, it, if, it's, if things feel good, then that means they're going to get bad, right? Like, good things don't last forever. So with that logic in mind, good things can only happen for so long before something bad takes over. And, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. And those good times did wind up ending. Now... I have literally no idea whether that happened because I started looking way too far into what I thought my life was at the time. But I definitely think it contributed. Alright. I've got another set of beers and burgers already. Make it happen. Good to know, though, going back to the game side of things, is that apparently I was on the right track of getting closer with the Inquisitor. Now, I didn't, I didn't notice. I did not notice that apparently every time I did that I'm guessing. I still haven't noticed. But I have a feeling that every time... Like, every time that you, um... Every time that you do one of those witch burnings, your friendship with the Inquisitor gets higher and higher. I remember the last number I had with the Inquisitor was 75. So, if by the time the next up for Facing Day comes around, it's bigger than that, it's higher than that, then we'll have some more... We'll have some more stuff to look into. Let me... Let me throw some of these stuff in here. I don't need all that stuff in my inventory. I should work out some polished stone. That, that could be good. Polished stone. Uh, so I can upgrade my um, my graveyard a bit more. I got a body in there. I got some carrots in here. I got some wood over here. I got to get some billets. Got to do some good things. Uh, I don't want... I don't want mushrooms. I do not want mushrooms. I want to cut down this tree. I want to cut down the tree. Can I cut down the tree? Please let me cut down the tree. This tree specifically? No? How about this tree? That's fine. We'll do that one. That's okay. Okay. Going back to the notion of like the tarot card reading and whatnot, I've never actually had a tarot card reading before. Um, I've always wanted one though. It sounds I I just I not because I want to like tempt fate or anything, but because like I just kind of just kind of want to know. I'm I'm really really curious. I'm curious to see like what it would be and how like what the interpretation of who is whoever the, what the interpretation is of whoever you know gave the reading. But also, like, of what my interpretation is, of what my own readings are. Alright, Horadric, I made you... I made beer. I, I made mead. Alright, apparently I don't get anything from mead. Okay. Alright. Do I... Do I have any... Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. So mead doesn't... I made my mead, and that's it? I don't... It's not for a quest or anything? Huh. Maybe there's somebody in the town who's really interested in mead. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's merchant day, so actually, let me take it over to the merchant. Hey, buddy. You said you take mead? Let's talk business. Oh, that's that stuff. Oh, I still haven't made a lot of sales. I've made a few sales so far. I can sell good burgers to you? How much can I sell that for? 29? Ugh, ain't worth it. How many sales have I made so far? I've sold three. I need to make seven. And I have some stuff back in my... Back in my area over here. What about... I feel like... If there's anybody who's going to be interested in mead, maybe it's... I would think the tavern goers, but what about what about Dig? Maybe Dig likes mead. Dig, you like mead, my guy? I know you're into hemp and stuff. Maybe I can get like an infusion, like a hemp-infused mead. It gets you drunk and it gets you high. Although it doesn't really get you drunk. Ding dong, bing bong. Okay. <laughs> That's fine then. Let's, let's bring myself up to the mountain fort. Maybe there's somebody up here who will buy it. What is this place? Nothing there. Okay, that's fine. What about Gypsy Baron? Do you like mead? Do you like it to mead? Like it to mead? No. Okay, that's fine. What about there was a there was a dude. There was a dude over here. Name like Kolok or something like that. Just a random guy. 
hangs by the fort. Is he still over here? Does he still hang over here? I wonder. Buddy? Buddy? Do you hang? Hey, buddy. You like mead? Like mead? No? Okay. Woodcutter doesn't want his mead. That's fine. You don't get mead, then. Fine. You don't want it? You don't get it. Get out of here. What about... Don't chop wood. Don't chop wood. What if I chop wood? What if I want to chop wood, huh? Can't stop me from chopping wood, although apparently you could, and you did. Stop me from chopping wood. What about you guys? Any of y'all like mead? Like mead? No, you just, just trade? Nope, not particularly interested in anything that you have. You have gold chisels, though. That's good. Get some honey. Honey's good. Honey's very good. All right, I am just gonna head back to the sweet home. Just head back to the sweet home and keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on doing my thing. There will eventually be more bodies. We will, we will obtain, we will get stuff from those bodies. Wow, that is so annoying. My God, that is so annoying that apparently I was not doing the correct thing. But you know what? You have to learn eventually. You gotta, you gotta learn sometime. All right, this is for Silver Star Onion Seeds. I want fertilizer on this. I don't have quality fertilizer down here. I should go grab some quality fertilizer from above. Well, Nevers are finally calm. Nerves are finally calm and decided to take a social media break and to just reset right now. I think that will go well for that will go well for streaming too. Oh, for sure, a little bit of a reset every once in a while? For sure. Honestly, I, was, I used to be the kind of person where I stayed far away from social media. I wanted nothing to do with social media. My mentality was that social media really isn't... It isn't good for me. Everybody does social media. Therefore, I shouldn't do social media. But you know... You know... Social media can be kind of fun sometimes. It's rather, it's rather engaging, you know? Sometimes I really... Sometimes I can stare at my phone for like hours. Just like browsing through like TikToks and stuff. I can do that. I don't know if I should do that, but I do do that. I do that sometimes, but you know, sometimes it can be very relaxing. You know, it may be a little mindless, you know, so maybe swiping through social media can be a little bit mindless sometimes, but like, honestly, I, you know, I like it sometimes. Sometimes it's just good to just kind of turn your brain off for a little bit. Sometimes I need that. Put a little bit of that there, put a little bit of that there. Uh, I'm actually going to replace... You are going to use quality fertilizer, and you're going to use gold star seeds instead. And apparently, I am out of gold star seeds. Oh, that's really nice. So I lost two seeds that time. That's not good. That's not very cash money at all. Not very cash money at all. Got silver star... Got plenty of silver star seeds, though. I'll put those down then. Silver star seeds I can sell. I can sell silver star seeds. So that's okay. Put the carrot seeds I don't have much of, but I got onion seeds, so I'll do that. I'll put that there. Put some peat down there. Put my seeds back. Put that there. Put that there. Okie dokie. No more silver star onion seeds. None of that stuff either. I'll put that over here. Oh, that's it. That's all I got. All right, cool, cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now let's go up here. I think I have a couple of more. I, I definitely have a couple more crates that I can put together. And if I sell four more, then I make some progress with the merchant. So progress, progress makes perfect, you know? I hope. Silver star onions, those are good. Put the gold star onions back over here. I need some more meat. Put the honey over here. Uh, dowels can go, dowels and planks can go outside. I have, I actually have a lot more planks than I thought I did. Dowels can go in there. I got some scrap metal. Let's make some, let's make some iron. I got plenty of metal scrap. Here we go. Let's do it. Make some scrap. Scrappy dappy do. Scrappy dappy do. Don't need all this ash. I don't need that. Uh, let's make some billets. Make some billets. Make some billets. Put that on there. Be great. Be awesome. Be awesome. Take another sip of my mezcal. Do a little Floridita ing. And let's give myself some mead. Mead makes the body feel warm. Oh, actually, did I lose health from that? I don't know. I gained health from that, apparently. How did I lose health? Did I lose health? Interesting. All right, I've got my billets. I can burn some bodies. I can get some meat from some bodies. Um, and probably do something about all the 
other reagents that I've been collecting because I really don't need all that. Actually, let's let's see about the bodies, you know? That that guy needs to be burned. But this guy, how are you looking? How are you looking? You you a good body? You look like a pretty good body, honestly. Let's the dark injection will make you bad, but the silver injection will actually do some good for you. So let's put you on a table. Use a silver injection. We'll try to increase this, you know, the the goodness of the um of the graveyard while we're at it. Take this body. Take this body. I've grown tired of this body. Uncomfortable and heavy body. That song is by a band called Mother Mother, a favorite of mine. For at least the past couple years, they do alternative type music, and they might be a Canadian Christian band, but I don't know. They mentioned Jesus a couple times, so that makes me think it might be like alternative Christian rock, maybe? I love it. If it is, I'm I'm into it. I love their music. They got a lot of really good ones. All right, let's put you on the pile. Set you ablaze! Fire! Fire, indeed. Destroy the salt. Don't need the salt. Destroy that. Don't need it. Seems like Anna's rearranging the bedroom. We had some people. We had uh, my uh, one of the, our property manager come by. Our apartment is very, very cold. Even now, as we speak, I do not have my heater on. My nose is a little chilly. It's like probably like 67, 65 degrees in here, which to me is cold. Don't judge me. But so they came by and we were like, hey, can you help us out with our heat? Our heat's not doing super good. And they're like, oh, just use your wall heaters that are in the wall. Despite the fact that my thermostat has a heat option. I'd like for them to fix that, but apparently that's not something that we can fix right now, apparently. <laughs> but, you know, so we're rearranging our bedroom, Anna and I, so that we can have access to that heater because our bed was in front of it because the heater didn't really work well anyway. But apparently if we're going to convince somebody to put a heating unit on our central thing, then we need to show them that we're trying. And if this is how I show them that I'm trying, then I guess I will. They still haven't fixed it. Oh, my God. To, you, to Astro, it kind of feels like the only thing you can do to make progress in your life again with streaming. Yo, I, to be to be fair, when I started streaming, the direction of my life changed. Is it a coincidence? I don't know, but it makes me feel good. It's a, it's a nice hobby of mine. I, it makes me feel good. They still haven't fixed it. So technically speaking, it's not broke. The thermostat is just incorrect. It's just doesn't, isn't connected to anything. We have two wall heaters. One is right behind my desk. It's a very weak unit. It does that. The weak unit is in the biggest room in the house. The weak unit doesn't in the biggest room in the house doesn't actually do much for the big part of the apartment. The powerful unit is in the bedroom, the smaller room in the apartment. So even if you have them both turn on at the same time, it doesn't really do much good for the apartment. But we need to at least try it to show our property manager that we're trying. And we will show them that we're trying. Because we're trying. Oh, and you meant that you won't be streaming for a while, too. Oh, 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 that's okay. No, that's fine. Oh, you meant, like, that'll go for streaming, too, as in, like, stopping the streaming for a while. Dude, that's totally fine. If taking a break from that type of stuff is what makes you feel better in your life, for lack of... Maybe it'll... I don't know. In the long run. If it's if it'll be good for you to take your mind off of it for a while, because I can understand that, dude. I am the kind of person who I like... I'm like... I'm not a fan of committable things like the fact that the idea of a commitment to any particular thing like kind of freaks me out granted i say that and i've been streaming for a year now and i've been in a relationship oh, for seven years kind of seems counterintuitive like you're not afraid of commitment you've been doing things for so long but like but like honestly taking a break for some things like there were a lot of things that i did in high school and in college that i just couldn't bring myself to continue to do and I stopped doing them. One of the things that I did, actually, one of the one of the prime examples of this was I really love to sing. I love doing that. I like to sing in choirs and whatnot. And when I came, when I got to college, I decided what I wanted to do was continue singing. So I decided to join an acapella group. And I also decided to do take an improv class that I continued to do. And you know, it really, really wasn't my cup of tea, to be honest. I, I tried the acapella group for a I loved the singing, but I, I didn't like the thing. I did theater for a long time and I tried to do theater and I just didn't do it. I eventually, I dropped acapella, I dropped choir, I dropped theater, and I dropped the improv group. 
because it just i wanted to focus on my academic stuff i really needed i really needed a change and that type of change was exactly what i needed and i did you know i did pretty well in college because i kind of put those things to the side and eventually i'll go back to it maybe or maybe streaming scratches that itch for me at least but you know if it does if it does well for you in the long run then you know i, I don't think there should be anything wrong with that at all just just be well be well dude be well Honestly, you gotta give it a try. Have to get out of this rut. Yeah, you know what? And you know, sometimes big changes. I mean, I don't know how how big a change not streaming is for you in particular, but like sometimes big changes can help out. And you know, you know, for for me, the big the big change that I had was getting a full time job, and that was a huge change for me. And it completely threw my other stuff off kilter. But you know, I feel like I've got you know at least for me, you know, I got back into the to the swing of it all. I feel like I have a better handle on that type of stuff. And you know, it feels better now in the long run. But it took me, it took me a couple of months, a couple of months to even get to this position. And you know, in the long run, I'm really happy that I'm here now. It feels, it feels really, really good to be here right now. But I didn't feel that way a few months ago. And you know what? I may not feel that way a couple months from now. I have no way of knowing, but it could be, you know? You've been doing DoorDash and whatnot, and that's just not cutting it. You know, uh, Anna's uh, Anna's older brother actually. Um, I think he's got a full time job too, but he but he does I think DoorDash or not DoorDash. Uh, he does Grubhub on the side, and I think he really really enjoys it. He does that he does that during the week, does that during the weekends and whatnot, and it get, it brings a little extra money in, you know. And even if you're not for and even if it's not for money, like you know, just being able to like honestly, I find a nice drive to be incredibly clearing for the mind. I love to go out on drives. I love long drives and so maybe that maybe that maybe that type of stuff helps and if it does then you know being able to get paid at the same time of being able to walk around that's great that's awesome that'll that'll hopefully help there all right let's try to make this body really good i'm trying to make this body good good kind of body and like i feel like i felt that way about ooh, that heart should go back in there that was a really good heart why do i have so many hearts no 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 no, no. this heart this heart go back in that was that was a good heart but I know, like, originally, originally my idea, the idea of streaming was to potentially make some money on the side. And honestly, that wasn't really cutting it for me. I just kind of felt bad about it. I really, did, really it didn't, it didn't do that, do what I wanted it to do for me. Um, so now I don't, I, you know, I don't do it, don't really do it for the money now. Although obviously, you know, it helps. It helps. It gets, it goes towards improving what you see here. And that's a good thing. Plus, like, it gives you a reason to celebrate. You know what? Honestly, just the fact that I, you know, just the fact that I could do the little party horn when somebody throws bits at me, I love that. I didn't even care about the fact that I can convert that to currency later on. I just like the fact that I have the excuse to do that. I like that I have the excuse to put on these party hats. I like to have the excuse to just smile. I like that. And I think, honestly, I think that pretty much sums it all up. Streaming, at least for me today, I can't speak on behalf of myself a year from now, but streaming for me today is an excuse for me to just smile and talk and play games and relax and socialize. And I think that's freaking awesome. And I'm super thankful. But I, I feel like I talk, I talk about it a lot because I'm a very chatty person. But all in all, I can't do this. I can't do this without people out there like y'all like without you aster i literally cannot do this i cannot feel this positivity for me and be able to put it out there again for others without people like you around to be able to be like dude you're doing a good job i appreciate you because you know what like it's not like i'm like, like it's not like i'm really out there looking for praise or anything like that but it feels really 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 good it feels really really good for somebody to say hey what you're doing matters to me and that type of validation is just like dude it feels so awesome and i like i i can't i cannot i feel like i don't say it enough but like i really can't say thank you in particular thank y'all in particular for being able to give me an excuse to freaking put these party hats on my head because it's awesome i love it i love it i could be a huge streamer honestly i I, th I think about that and i think to myself like i don't even know dude i don't even know what i would do if i don't even know what i would do if i was anywhere above like i, I can't even conceive of a, a reality where i'm you know, above like a thousand followers or more than like like 
10 subs at a time, like, individually, not because of, like, gifts and whatnot. Like, I can't even imagine that stuff. Because I feel like, I don't know how, I didn't even know how I would do it. Because I value too much of being able to, like, look over a chat and respond to the folks that are there. And to be able to kind of steer the conversation in a direction of where, like, chat is going. And I feel like once you've got, like, messages coming in nonstop, I don't know what you do in those scenarios. I've been, I, I've been, like, what I've tried to do recently is I've been trying to see, like, what I've been trying to see is I've watched, like, higher, like, really really big streamers i've been trying to study i've been doing a little bit of research i've been watching like big streamers to see like what it is that they do right now that really hooks people on and to be perfectly honest when you're a part of that big of chat when there's so much going on that doesn't really scratch that itch for me i don't know it's why i like actually watching i appreciate that it feels genuine that's good i hope it seems genuine i like to think that i'm being genuine i hope so and if not, then this is the best ruse ever. But, but the big streamers, you just don't feel any connection there. I have watched, in particular, I have watched a couple of big streamers. And, and uh, you know, see me those rings. Oh, those rings. Oh, oh, look at, these, look at these rings. Look at those rings. Where's my, where's my swap screen? These are my two rings. I have two rings. I used to wear, this is my pom those promise ring. This is my promise ring. It's got a little heart on it from my dearest. You kind of can't see it in this lighting here. But it says, real love. Got it from my fiance. It says, sweetie pie on the inside of it. It's super cute. I got it from her from one of our, I think, Valentine's Day, like four or five years ago. And so I, I didn't used to wear it over on my, on my left hand. But when we got engaged, I moved all my rings to my left hand. And then I have this gear ring. This gear ring can like, it's a, it's a, it's a fidget ring. It's a fidget ring before fidget rings were cool. Awesome. It's not a, it's not a perfect size, but... Actually, none of my rings are perfect. I have very small fingers. I have very small body parts in general. I'm a very small person. And actually, these rings come off and on, like, really, really easily. So I try my absolute damnedest to not drop these things in, like, the drain and stuff like that. Because that would just be an absolute catastrophe. But Astro just got his other ring back uh, today, which is both nice and sad. Well, your fingers are, like, size 12. I think, uh, mine are maybe size eight size seven. my fingers are size seven according to anna who just spoke from the ether I'm, my rings are my fingers are apparently size seven my mother told me size seven i have very small fingies very small fingies anna got that memorized dude i t to be honest i really only knew what anna's ring size was long enough to figure out what size to get her engagement ring as She's apparently a five and a half, so, and I think, I hope the ring is a five and a half, I hope, maybe? Yeah, the ring fits. If the ring fits, then we've done something right. So it fits. And, uh, that was a fun pro- that was a fun process, too. Like, I, 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 you know, I, I took quite a bit of time to actually get the ring for Anna, naturally. I, I had to, I planned my engagement. Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. I really don't want you. I'm gonna wind up trashing you. Alright, I'm gonna wind up trashing you. Destroy the ash? Yeah, destroy the ash. Get the ash out of here. I want the meat. What I want is the meat! Oh my god, it's upward facing day. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I need to go... Okay, no, no. I need to go to the top of the witch hill. I need to have this burning ceremony. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gosh, she has such small fingers. She's a lady. She, she can be dainty. She's dainty. She's not... Uh, overall, Anna's not incredibly dainty, but her fingers are dainty. I think it's kind of cute. I'll be honest. It's a little cute. Uh, I, I gotta be honest there. It's a little cute. I appreciate that. Honestly, I'm a little dainty at times. I have small figures. And you know? I'm happy about that. And apparently, if I wear a particular rain jacket, I've got feminine figures. And you know, I'm down with that. Let's burn some witches. Personally, when you do find that girl to marry, I'm gonna go ring shopping with her. Yeah. I basically, I just kind of had... I just kind of talked with Anna. Anna and I, like, even when we first started dating, we talked a lot about marriage and stuff like that. And I got a pretty good idea of what kind of ring she wanted. The ring that I got for her isn't the wedding ring that she wants. She'd like to have a Disney-themed wedding ring. But we figured for the engagement, I figured for the engagement, that we needed to get something that was hypoallergenic. So it's a platinum ring. And honestly, she's not super, she's not super into diamonds. So I got her a pink sapphire. Oh, can we see the ring? Anna! Can we get a can we get the ring in here? I don't think you understand what's going on in this 
Okay. Um, she says, I apparently don't understand what's going on in the room over there, so... I don't think she's in... Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. You know, that's no excuse. Hold on a second. Give me the ring. I'm gonna show the ring. Just hand it to me. Hand it to me. I see you over there. Hand me the ring. Oh my god, you completely dismantled the bed. Yeah, because I can't move it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okie dokie. Anna's doing some, uh... Anna's doing some big work in there. She's doing some man's work in there. Yes, she is. She literally the entire room is completely took it apart. She has she has completely disassembled the bed so that we can get access to that heater. It's crazy. All right, let's let's do this. So this is now presenting Anna's engagement ring. This is the ring that I got for Anna for our for our engagement. Actually, let me let me try to get the light on it. So let's let's see. Let's get all close up in there. Let's see. This is this is Anna's engagement ring. This is the ring that I got for Anna. It is a pink sapphire. It's a little it's a little tarnished right now. It should probably be cleaned a little bit. Come on, focus on that. And it's studded with tiny diamonds on the side. And actually, I'm not sure if you can tell. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um on the side, the real diamonds, come on, focus. Focus. The real diamonds have a little pink diamond. A little pink diamond in the middle there. Right? Right um right there is another tiny pink diamond. Cute little things. Is it really, really cool? And now that we're on the close-ups thing, here's a close-up of my other rings. This is my gear ring. Here we go. Well, there. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it, camera. You got it. Yeah, buddy. You got it. You got it. This is my gear ring. It spins around. It's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Love that. Love, fo love that. And uh, this is my this is my promise ring. My equivalent of an engagement ring. Come on. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Camera. Camera. So apparently... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's try that. Oh my god, it's focusing on... <laughs> it's focusing on my calendar. Sunday. 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 All right, hold on. Let's try this. Let's try this. Focus on the hand. Focus on the hand. Focus on the hand. Focus on the hand. Good. Good, good. Good camera. Good camera. Good camera. This is my promise ring. It says true love on it, and this is half of a heart. My half is black, and Anna's half is gold. Yours was silver. Mine was silver, but it's kind of tarnished it a bit now. So, uh, and now I will slowly but surely unzoom out <laughs> of my face. Oh my god! Just slowly but surely zoom out. Anyway, that was a tour of my. That was a tour of the rings of the household. Oh, hold on. Let me go. Let me go give the ring back to Anna. Here you go, baby. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh my god, my clothes are falling. Here we go. Ah! Oops. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Very good taste. Very good indeed. And also, too, and I'm not sure if this is something that, like, everybody is particularly proud of. I feel like, I feel like you shouldn't... I feel like sometimes you don't want to feel proud about not spending a lot on a ring. Because if you didn't spend a lot on the ring, that means that you don't care about your partner, right? No. I actually got I, I got my ring. The ring that Anna has was actually made by a family friend of ours. My par my my parents have a lot of connections. My my family in general has quite a few connections, and one of them is to uh, a very, very talented man who is also a jeweler. So we handmade the ring for Anna, and I got it for a quarter of the price that it's valued at. And I don't really feel I, I don't I don't necessarily feel comfortable sharing that publicly, but I got that ring for a steal. I literally took like I, I I remember the day I remember the day so vividly. I drove it to the guy's house. It was just me. I was like, hey, thanks so much for making the ring for me. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's the entire amount for the ring in in bills, actual bills. And he was like, I'll just take this much. And he took a quarter of the cost. And I was like, are you kidding me? You're you're gonna give me this ring for that amount? Really? That that's all? And he's like, yeah. You're a family friend of ours. You know, I don't do this for everybody naturally. And you're, you know, I think you're going to do really, really great things. And I think, you know, I think it'll be good for you. Yeah, I told you to smoke weed every day. He also told, <laughs> Anna brings up a good point. This dude also told me about 10 minutes after telling me, you know, here's a, here's a quarter price for a ring. That's really, really good. Family, family favor. He told me my secret in life is to smoke weed every day. So smoke weed. It'll do better. And I was like, all right, man. 
<laughs> it was, it was, I had such a roller coaster of emotions that day. Oh my god. But, you know, no, Astro Brick is a good point. The ring's price doesn't mean anything. It's the thought that puts into it. Probably just took the cost for, like, literal materials. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. It was, it was great. And, you know, love that guy. Really awesome guy. Oh my god. Okay, I completely lost my train of thought. I really, I really like talking, guys. I really, really like talking. My god, I really like talking. All right, let's go. Um, I need more carrots. So I need some carrots to bring to get more bodies, to make more things. Uh, these onions are almost done. I was meaning to uh, pack up a couple of crates over here. Uh, I got some, got some bag of vegetables. That's good. Not enough energy. Take some mead. I didn't need to drink three of those, but alas, put that down. Um, I need some more flitches so I can pack up some pumpkins. Got some pumpkins. Got some pumpkins. I need wood. Oh my goodness. All right, I think I've been going pretty late. It's a little late so far. I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm really not done. I can't be done yet. There's no bed to sleep in, so I can't be done just yet. Anna says it would be easier if I came in and helped. But I am I am doing my stream things right now. I am doing my streamies. Let's flitch. I can help. I, I'll help. I'll help after I, I finish here. I you know I actually I might. I think I, I think I probably should there. That's that's the right thing to do. The right thing to do. The right thing to do is to help out. Uh, I didn't realize that we were doing this tonight, but the right thing to do is to help. So let me let me finish up what I'm doing here. And then I'll, I'll go help. I'll go do that. This is the right. This is the right thing to do. We're we're all about doing the right thing over here. And that would be the right thing to do. All right. Let me go. Let me pack this crate up over here. Pack this crate. Put the thing. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. We can watch slash play another way. We can. We can. And when Astro gets the ring, he doesn't just want it to be silver, but like a faded silver, not like that mirrored look. Dude, I like that. I like that. I kind of like that idea. Mine's kind of, mine's kind of got, mine's like, like scratched and stuff. Mine's like, mine's not faded. It's just kind of scratched. But I kind of understand what you're talking about. Almost like a cloudy silver, not a, a little bit like, like not not metallic, but like glossy. That's what I'm imagining. That sounds awesome, actually. I like that idea. All right, let's put this meat, meat on the table. We'll do that. I'll make, I will do one more witch burning. I will do one more witch burning and I will try to get one more dark, one more attempt at a dark heart. That's the last thing that I'll do. And then I'll go help out Anna with things because it's the right thing to do. The right thing to do to help people out. Okay, so that'll cook. That'll cook. Put my my pumpkins here. My, my, uh, not my burgers. Put my onions there. I didn't, what else did I just put in there? The water, uh, the water can stay there. Teleport stone, take that back. Let me go... Oh, one of those rings of power would be cool. Oh, totally. You know, if, if, you know, if you can get your hands on, like, a ring of power, you know, one ring to rule them all, anything like that, then it'd be pretty cool. Or, like, a, like a, a ring of, a ring of minor healing. It'd be pretty cool. A pretty good thing. That is a, that's a pretty good choice, honestly. If you can get your hands on one of those, nice. But, you know, you know, close, close alternatives. Get some carrots, plant some carrots, get some carrots, plant some carrots, get some carrots, plant some carrots. There you go. Come down here and do that and i will meditate until upward facing day i know i just kind of missed it but i can meditate the whole time that'll be fine uh carrots carotin 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 all right now now what i'll do is i'm gonna meditate until or i'm gonna sleep and hopefully the meat will be done then i can make more burgers then i'll be prepared then i'll be prepared and i'll sleep the next week not the not the one ring though. Mm, one of those rings would give in the Nazgul. No, no, we don't need the one ring. That's a little too much power. To be honest, that's too much power. I don't even know what I would be able to do with that much power. That's too much. Too much. Too much power. Too much raw power. Don't know what I'm to do about that. All right, more burgers. More burgers. And I used up all the meat, so I need more meat. Need more bodies, need more meat. But I have enough for another thing, so I'm going to meditate until then. To try, to try to bring on another one. And we'll see. We'll see. You know, speaking of the one ring or anything like that, go figure that the only time that I have ever watched Lord of the Rings was in German class. In German. I have, I have, never, I have never watched the entirety of the Lord of the Rings 
in English. Also, my apologies. I'm going to get a snack. I'm going to eat some Oreos. Oh, oh, hold on. Um. This whole meditation thing takes quite a while. So in the meantime, while I'm meditating, let's just head back here to chat for a little bit. Let's just chat. You and me. Let's go. Yeah, honestly. How's life been going so far? Life's been, life's been good so far. I've been actually, one of the projects that I've been working on at work that I've been like really, really into so far is um, basically what I've done is I've taken, I've taken an Android app and I've like I've, I've taken it apart i've taken the android apps come in these packages called apks and i don't exactly know what an apk is but you can take that and you can decode it and you can try to figure out what the app is doing and how they implemented it and what this helps me to do is i work with my my work is i'm a firmware developer and one of the things that i do one of the things that i do i do many many things but one of the things is i take the these wireless bluetooth devices and i try to figure out how they communicate and if I can figure out the bits and bytes that they're transmitting, then I know how to talk back to the device. Not only do I, can I figure out by kind of diving deep into the applications about what these devices may be saying, to me, I can figure out how to talk back to these apps and be able to get them to do what I want to do. And in particular, these are medical devices. So oftentimes what are what it will wind up happening is I'll get like I'll get a I'll get a thermometer. And the thermometer says, I am transmitting your temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius, or this is what my time is right now. And that all comes across in bits and bytes. And sometimes it's a little difficult to figure out what those bits and bytes are, like where they are in their sequence and whatnot. And so oftentimes what I can do is I can take applications and rip them to pieces and kind of reverse engineer what, how their app communicates with the device so that I can communicate with the device and be able to, you know, help out people and whatnot everywhere. Um, I would love to like, I, I love technological stuff like that. So if anybody out there is ever like ever curious about how you can do that too, I would love to like walk someone through my process of like how I figured out how to do it on my, cause I kind of had to figure it out how to do it on my own, uh, with like Google and stuff like that. Yahoo stack overflow and whatnot. But I love, I love to share stuff like that. And I think one of the things I really want to do eventually, and I haven't planned for it yet, but I want to stream science and technology and I want to do one of these things. I want to do something like technologically engineerly excuse me cool like maybe a programming thing or something anyway something like that i would love to do something like that eventually anyway with enough talking later it is now upward facing day and it is time it's time to burn more witches burn more of the witches and as we burn more of the witches i'm gonna take the final oreo i have one more oreo over here i'm gonna enjoy this my worm Mm. They're birthday Oreos. <laughs> Just the right combo of chocolate and vanilla. All right, Mr. Inquisitor. Oh my God, are you about to talk to me? I think there's no point if we can't burn any. We can't burn any. Wait, wait, wait was this it? Oh my God, wait a minute. Ancient curse. We had one of them in 
Nick Salover. In fact, he told us that once a terrible curse was laid upon the town, and it was quieted by an ancient contract. The first sign of the curse's return should be dark magic organs inside corpses. We'll need to gather them. A dark heart, a dark brain, and a dark intestine. Find them in corpses and bring them to me as evidence of witchcraft for the king. Here are some old notes. Maybe they'll help you. Oh my god, this is it! We can get the dark hearts and the dark intestines, all of them. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. I'm teleporting home right now. Have I ever had peanut butter Oreos? I haven't. I haven't. Oh my god, I went to the wrong place. Shit. Okay, I went to the wrong place. But, but, we can get dark hearts and stuff now. Oh my god. They're fire. They put the, the peanut butter ones. Dude, one of some of my favorites, and I know this is probably pretty basic, but I love, I love the mint Oreos. Oh my gosh, I love those right now. I actually have, I bought some Girl Scout cookies the other day uh, for one of my coworkers. Oh my god, mint? Hell yeah! I love the mint Oreos. Oh my god, they're some of my favorites! Anna's not a huge, huge fan of mint and whatnot, but I, I for one, love chocolate and mint together. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Anything, honestly, I'm a sucker for mint. Anything with mint in it, it's like my favorite. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's extract some stuff. Let's extract some stuff. Oh my god, this is perfect. All right, look at that. Look at oh, I don't know how to do it yet. Wait, 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 wait. How do I? How do I do it though? Or is there more that I have to figure out? Wait a minute. What? Do I have to like? Oh my god, where is it? Uh. No. Is it over here? No, what am I what am I missing? Oh, over here, over here. Dark bodies. Preparation place two. Oh, so I guess there's a chance now. It's gotta be a fresh corpse. Oh, it gotta be fresh? Oh my god, really? Oh, everything has a meaning. You can see that that in the part body parts. Oh, that's cool. That was just a random drop. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Baby's got a dark heart. Baby's got a dark heart. Cross the dark figures for a drop up. Alright, that's fine. Dark intestine. Baby got a dark intestine. Baby got a dark intestine. Dark intestine and everything. Alright. Okay. Dark brain? Dark brain? Maybe? 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 Alright. Nope. That's fine. Alright. You are useless to me. Boop. Put you over here. I'll get you later. Need more bodies. I need more bodies. Put you on the table. Here we go. Or maybe, you know what? I... I'm gonna inject you with dark solution anyway. Because I... I have my own conclusions that I want to draw. Okay. Alright. It'll wait till next time. That's what we'll do. <laughs> now that I know that it's possible, we will make it done. We will get it done. So in the meantime, I guess I guess what did we what did we accomplish today? We had some had some people confessing in our confessional booth. That was a thing that happened. A couple of injections. Did I finish my drink? Nah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I still got quite a bit left. It's a good one though god it's a good one anyway that's what i'll do consumption oh you guys cheers my friend do it all i actually can't do that i will not do that i'm not gonna slam it because technically speaking i ain't trying to i am trying to tuck the um step on any official toes here but according to twitch's tos we can't incentivize via bits points or channel points or anything like that the consumption of alcohol. So if I'm going to consume alcohol, it will be of my choice only. However, I will totally slam the rest of this water bottle. And now it's empty. There's nothing in it. We did it. Hydration. Hydration, my friends. So to everybody who came along for the ride, I very much appreciate you all. It's been great. It's been wonderful. It's been fanciful. And that's where we're going to end things to now. I've got a bed to rebuild and a room to put back together so that both me and my fiance can sleep peacefully tonight. And it'll be great. Oh, well, it'll be great. It'll be even better this time. So until next time. 
Okay. <laughs> I still need to help my fiance. I still need to help her out. But I'll see y'all next Wednesday for some Hollow Knight. It'll be great. Another cocktail. It'll be fun. It'll be great. I have no idea. I have no idea what it'll be. I actually came up with a. I figured out the mezcal thing on Monday. I'm trying to plan these things in advance now. I think it's getting a little bit better. I'm kind of happy with how things turned out. It was awesome. I love you guys. I feel like I don't say it enough, but I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you gals. I love you peoples. It's gonna. It's gonna be a great day. Even if it's not a good day today, it'll be a good day eventually. To everyone out there, no matter where you are, I don't care where you are. It doesn't even matter your time zone. I hope it's a good day, or twilight, or dawn. Or afternoon. Or morning. I think I already said morning. Ah, whatever, guys. You know what I mean. Peace out till next time, y'all. Party on. Bye!